The stage is set, and the glittering prize awaits one of these two teams. But which one in the 2022 FIFA World Cup final? Stay with us, you won't miss a minute of action right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal versus Germany. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Rui Patricio stands between the posts. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer begins in goal. Niklas Zule starts with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Serge Gnabry starts with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And the striker of choice today is Timo Werner. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this past month has been challenging as well, but they're here and they have a well-earned track record as winners. Well, you're absolutely right, but I think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on. They've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch. They're good tactically, they've been fit, and I think they've got every chance of being the world champions here, but they're going to have to play well. And given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Well, Derek, he's so dangerous in the air, but it's not just his aerial ability, it's his movement in the box that buys him that little bit of space to get on the end of crosses. Whether it's in front of defenders or drifting in behind them, he always seems to be in the right place. Short corner it is. Veering in field here. But quick thinking defensively. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo on the move. Really well played pass. Werner. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And good use of advantage, the referee allowing play to continue. Well, Portugal might be onto something. Could go ahead! And opting for power over placement, but not the desired result. And Kimmich. Return to Werner. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And teammates around him. Ronaldo. Now with Jota. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Ronaldo. Has a go. And no way through. Couldn't keep it. Fernandes 
Well, the supporters think it's on. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. David Raum. Leroy Zane. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Sloppy from Sané. Well, it's been a good last 15 minutes for Portugal. They're having most of the ball now and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Yes, it's going to plan, and they might be able to carve out another chance. Well, timing was perfect. It had to be. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. Well, play was allowed to carry on, but now that it's come to a halt, a caution. He's driven in the corner. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Werner. On to Goretzka. What's he going to do here? Müller. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Müller. Real chance. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out the danger. What's he going to do here? Müller. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is. And a chance for them to forge ahead. Well, no cards handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty, yes, yellow card, no. This to make it 1-0. And in it goes, as coolly as you like, never in any doubt from the spot. <laughs> Well, as you can see from this replay, the keeper chooses the right way and he gets something on it. Just not enough to keep it out. He's a bit unlucky, really. And Portugal get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Doesn't want to give it away here. He has time to play it over. Well, the cross didn't get past the first defender. Corner it is, as Germany pushed to add to their lead here. And the referee says penalty. to make it 2-0 the keeper are going in the right direction and saving it now how about the short corner Gnabry Good bit of pressing. Gnabry. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Joao Cancelo. Bruno Fernandes has it. Ran it superbly to take back possession. Moving into the advanced position. Timo Werner. Crossbar got in the way. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And just look at these fans. A trophy coming their way, surely.
Well, as you can see, he's so alive to the rebound. He's first to react, and then he gets his reward. It's a good goal. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Well timed tackle. Well, as those stats tell us, Germany have been second best in terms of possession. But their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. And the intention was to let the play flow, but no real advantage forthcoming, and now a free kick. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Hoffman. Crossing opportunity. And so it is, the first half story has been written. And off and running again here. There was a real gulf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from Portugal in the second? pass he had in mind Joao Cancelo well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass and the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack and they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move and a corner kick, the referee's verdict. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo. Portugal looking dangerous, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Ronaldo and on to Felix and return to Silva will he finish a goal and it's very much game on here Let's take another look, and I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. So back underway, and let's see, can Portugal find another one? Effective looking pass. Muller, and he read it well defensively. Jota. Sanchez. Oh, that is a superb save. Playing it in, 
Well, not quite the corner he had in mind. Goalkeeper has it. Kimmich. Well, we're into the final half hour. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Well, as expected, Portugal have had more of the ball so far, but without really creating enough chances. They've almost passed the ball for the sake of it. They need to start getting it into their front players much quicker to get back into this. Well, he's lost it. Sané. Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Bernardo Silva. And this is Diogo Jota now. And he takes on the shot. Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. And they will make the change now. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. A lot of forward thrust here from Ronaldo. Now what can he do from this excellent position? Shot up. Now with Silva. Can he play it in? And he's keen on cutting in. Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should make the keeper work there, but you sense a goal is coming. Goretzka. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Sané. Promising attack, this. Now he must favour the cross. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Determined defending. They might be able to get in now. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh, God, it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, here's the replay. And sometimes when you've been pressed high up the field, you have to go that little bit longer and not play out through the thirds. And that's what they tried to do here. They had their pocket picked and suddenly they find the ball in the back of the net. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. And with that, the attack fizzles out. On the attack, is there to be late drama? Able to get a body in the way. Blocked again. And the penalty has been given here. Now to restore their lead here. And there it is, perfectly executed.
Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Oh, closed down straight away. Ronaldo! Oh, the goal to level it up in the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Cristiano Ronaldo. Serge Gnabry. And over the touchline for what will be a Germany throw-in. An important interception. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. <laughs> Thomas Müller. And effectively parried away by the keeper. It's a weighted pass. Ronaldo. Oh, a goal! And how important could that be? Maybe it's a story of one hand on the trophy at this stage of the final. A huge moment. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And Ronaldo made the finish look so easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. an additional four minutes are in order oh, couldn't quite find his teammate Joshua Kimmich well, doesn't have to do it on his own and now it's all over we've witnessed history Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe, now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time, fully deserved best team in the world well you have to give credit to the